Hello everybody, I am Wiggle Burrito, and I am back with another video. This week, I'm going to be going over five more mistakes people make when they're playing as heroes. Now, these are probably directed towards players that are newer towards the game, but if you've been playing for two and a half years or more like I have been, you actually might learn something, because you learn something every day, and that thing might be in from this video. So with that, I think it's time to get right into number one, and that applies to Luke. More specifically, his push and his repulse abilities. What I see a lot of people doing when they're playing as a Luke, mainly in Heroes vs. Villains, is they repulse someone, and then, like, not even a second after they repulse, they push. And they might not even realize, if you, if you push too quick after you do a repulse, it actually won't even register the knockback or the damage. So if you're going for the repulse, then push instantly after combo, you might want to practice waiting a second after you repulse, then you push, before their character gets off the ground, but after you wait a second, so the, the push will actually register. Moving over to the dark side for number 2, it's for Luke's father, Darth Vader. And this one actually applies to his choke ability. So you, what you want to take advantage of, and what I see a lot of people actually not doing, is when you're against a Rey or an Obi-Wan, and Rey and Obi-Wan use their dash abilities, de Obi-Wan's defensive rush or Rey's dash strike. I've noticed a lot of new Darth Vader players actually don't think they, they can choke while Obi-Wan and Rey are in their dashes. And that's actually not true. If an Obi-Wan or a Rey's dashing towards you, or not even towards you, just in the choke's range, you can choke them directly out of their animation, and it, they'll catch them off guard first of all. And second of all, and more importantly, you'll have them in his choke, which is the most OP ability in the game. So when you're playing as Darth Vader and you come across a Rey or an Obi-Wan, don't be afraid to use your choke while they're in their dashes. It'll take them directly out of it. So let's move back to the light side and over to Blaster Heroes for number 3, which is Leia. So after Leia received the buff to make her not the worst hero in the game, I noticed a lot of people are playing her more. And I've also noticed a lot of people are afraid to throw her grenades at her feet. This can be super useful if you if there's a Darth Vader or Kylo or any dark side lightsaber hero on you. That's just ability spamming and saber spamming. It can be super helpful to actually throw your, all of your grenades at your feet. It will not damage you at all. A lot of people think it'll damage you so they're kind of afraid to do that. No, it will not damage you at all if you're Princess Leia. And this is probably one that most people would know, but I've actually seen a lot of players afraid to do that. So I just wanted to put this in the video. Let's go back to the dark side and into the Clone Wars era for Count Dooku. And this one just applies for one of his abilities, which is his Exposed Weakness ability, which is his RB. So if you're unfamiliar, Exposed Weakness makes the enemy, you can only do it on one person, it's not a group ability. On the one person you do it on, it'll make them not be able to sprint, and most importantly it would also make them more susceptible to damage from you or your teammates. And you pair that with Dooku's high damage output with his duelist or just his normal lightsaber attacks and it can get deadly. So what I've seen a lot of people doing who play Dooku is they just don't use that ability. I mean I get why, it may, it, you're obviously putting down your block so if you're not careful you can get a lot of unnecessary damage while he's in that animation. But it can also make you kill a hero so much easier if you've gotten a little low health and you need some health regeneration. I mean, it's kind of insane how fast you can kill some lightsaber heroes if you just give them an exposed weakness and then just duelist them. You can probably three-shot them from the back. And what a lot of people actually don't know is that if, if Yoda or anyone who's received yellow health, meaning it's a heal from Yoda or the officer, if you expose weakness them, it'll actually t automatically take away all of their yellow health. And just one more good thing that exposed weakness does. If you use exposed weakness on someone and they die, not even from you, if they just die while it's active on them, it'll instantly recharge. Now keep in mind, I'm not just telling you to go use exposed weakness on everyone you see. That will not get you very far with Dooku. I'm just saying a lot of people don't even touch it, don't even think about using it. I'm just saying it can get you out of a lot of situations where you don't really think you would need it. And just a side note, you probably don't want to put any star cards for the exposed weakness ability unless it's in Heroes vs. Villains. In GA, you really want to focus your star cards on the duelist ability. So now we're going to end off the video with number 5 back on the light side with everyone's favorite hero, Anakin Skywalker. So this one just focuses on his LBRB ability, Heroic Might. More specifically, the way you use it. So normally, if, you, if you're unfamiliar, Heroic Might can, if you just press the button, he'll just stop for a second throw his arms out and it's a damage of a, in a circle around you. But you can also actually use it a different way. You can hold both LB and RB 
and he'll just wait there for like five seconds just so the radius is getting bigger he's getting more damage reduction and the damage is getting bigger so you might say why would you not want to do that that's just all three better things yeah i agree with you there but also it also gives troops time to run away if you don't think about that a lot of times i just see anakin just running into a room hold her heroic might for like five seconds and then they get maybe a kill after it because all the troops just see him doing it and then just run away in my view how that ability is supposed to be used is just drop into a room heroic might maybe throw a pole into if one guy's super low and then just jump out of the room and again i'm not saying never use heroic might past just pressing it i'm just saying in these situations where you just see a couple guys in a room you just want to press it a lot of times actually it'll be it's better to hold it for super long if because you, you need to clear out a room with a little more than just a couple of salts. So I hope you learned something from this video. I really try to make these videos helpful for players that are newer or just don't find themselves getting on the top of the leaderboard that much. If you enjoyed this video and want some more, I have a whole playlist of like 15 videos of just helpful videos to help newer players. Go check it out. It's in the top right corner right now. So that is going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you did. And I will see you guys in the next one.